I want to say a few words about this week's election in Afghanistan. This was an important step forward in the Afghan people's efforts to take control of their future, even as violent extremists are trying to stand in their way. This election was run by the Afghan people. In fact, it was the first democratic election run by Afghans in over three decades. More than 30 presidential candidates and more than 3,000 provincial council candidates ran for office, including a record number of women. Some 6,000 polling stations were open around the country, and Afghan national security forces took the lead in providing security. There is a clear contrast between those who seek to control their future at the ballot box and those who kill to prevent that from happening. Once again, extremists in Afghanistan have shown themselves willing to murder innocent Muslims, men, women, and children, to advance their aims. But I believe that the future belongs to those who want to build, not those who want to destroy. And that is the future that was sought by the Afghans who went to the polls and the Afghan National Security Forces who protected them. The United States did not support any candidate in this election. Our only interest was the result fairly accurately reflecting the will of the Afghan people. And that is what we will continue to support as the votes are counted and we wait for the official results from the Afghan Independent Electoral Commission and the Electoral Complaints Commission. Meanwhile, we will continue to work with our Afghan partners to strengthen Afghan security, governance, and opportunity. Our goal is clear, to disrupt, dismantle, and defeat al-Qaeda and their extremist allies. That goal will be achieved, and our troops will be able to come home as Afghans continue to strengthen their own capacity and take responsibility for their own future. Thanks very much, everybody. What about the heroes welcome in Libya, sir? You consider Libya a terrorist state, sir? I think it was a highly objective. Highly objective.